our science students. This is your lesson on the moon. What is the difference between a sidereal and a synodic lunar month? So if you look at the months of the year, they range in days from anywhere to 28 to 31 days. And the length of the calendar months are based on a lot of different factors, many of them having nothing to do with the science of the moon phases. So when we look at the lengths of the sidereal and synodic lunar months, there are scientific explanations for these different lengths, and they are different lengths. So we're going to look at what, they, what these words mean and why they are different. So the sidereal month is a measure of the amount of time that it takes the moon to orbit once around the Earth. Okay, so the moon is the Earth's natural satellite, and it's orbiting once around the Earth. That's exactly 360 degrees. It's almost a circle to go exactly back to the same place that it started. To do that takes 27.3 days, and that's what we call the sidereal month. That's different than the synodic month, which is the amount of time it's going to take that moon to go through its full cycle of lunar phases. So from new moon to the next new moon, how long does that take? Or from full moon to the next full moon? And that takes exactly 29.5 days, which we tend to round up to 30 days, for the moon to do its full cycle of phases every month. So why are these different? I notice that the synodic month means that the moon has to go a little more than 360 degrees if it only takes 27.3 days to go 360 degrees. It's going to go a little more than that in 29.5 days. So why this difference of approximately two days between the time it takes for the moon to orbit once around the Earth and the time it takes to go through its full cycle of lunar phases? So let's look at those uh, to, to understand why that is we are going to have to look at a diagram. This animation is going to help show you the difference between the sidereal month and the synodic month. So over here on the right, we have our sun, and here we have our moon, and here we have the earth. This is not to scale. And you'll see this white line represents the orbit of the earth around the sun. And it takes the Earth 365 days to orbit once around the Sun. We call that a year. In the meantime, the Moon is going to be orbiting around the Earth, and we call that a month. And we're going to look at the two different lengths of months, the sidereal month and the synodic month. Now you'll notice the right side of the Earth is lit up by the Sun. And when the sun, moon, and earth are uh, all in a line like this, that's when we have the new moon phase. Because the side of the moon that's lit up by the sun is the side facing away from earth. So you cannot see this moon from earth. So this moon is going to start here, and it's going to orbit once around the earth counterclockwise, and we're going to mark its starting position with a red dot so that we will know when it's back to the starting point, that's what we're going to call the sidereal month, and that's going to take 27.3 days. However, in that 27.3 days, the Earth is also going to move, and it's going to be moving along its orbit around the Sun. So, it's uh, when the 27.3 days is up, we're, the Earth is not going to be here anymore. It's going to be down here. And that's going to affect the alignment of the Earth, Moon, Sun, and that's going to affect the phases. So let's take a look at this. Okay, so our uh, Moon, we're going to mark its starting position with a red dot. 
and when it gets back to the dot, that's the sidereal month. And that would have taken uh, 27.3 days, and that would have gone once around uh, 360 degrees. But now you'll, and the Earth moved in that time. And now you'll notice, though, that the Earth, Moon, and Sun are not in a line anymore. So that means that this is not new moon phase yet. This is still waning crescent. For it to get back in line, it's going to have to travel a little bit further so that it's lined up with our sun and earth. And that's going to take it an extra two days. That means it has to go a little further than 360 degrees. And it's going to take it two more days. That will bring us to 29.5 days, and that will be our synodic month. So let's watch that happen. So we're going to need an extra two days to get the moon right there where it needs to be in line with the earth, the moon, and the sun all in a straight line. And that's now two days beyond its starting point. So this is 29.5 days. That's our synodic month. Two days longer than the sidereal month, which was once around circle. So let's watch that again. Okay, so here we are starting in the new moon position, all lined up, and we go once around the circle. That brings us our sidereal month, 27.3 days, but now I need an extra couple of days to get back in line so that I can be at new moon again. And that's my synodic month, that would be 29.5 days to get all lined up again. So I hope that explains the difference between the sidereal month and the synodic month.